and worried about you got 14,000 people homeless in Tampa alone. You also have 14% unemployment in Florida alone. You got 9.5% across the nation unemployed. Now, you, now all you got to do is do numbers on that, and then you wonder why they're talking about they're always down on the homeless. They're kicking them to the curb. They're arresting them for everything they can. Something's got to be done with the government, the state. I mean, it's all going downhill. And we're supposed to be the richest nations in the whole wide world. What's happening? But I've been over on this side for the last year and a half trying to support myself. And right now it's hard, not just for me, but for everybody. And what Hillsborough County has done, not just to the homeless, but for people that are trying to stay inside, it's hard. You know, and I'm trying to get my Social Security and, you know, without that, this is what I have to do because I can't work. I'm totally 100% disabled and just this hand to mouth every, every day. And I've been homeless for eight months. Yeah. My husband's a mason. He's just making $27 an hour and they laid him off. When they laid him off, they, and he was with the company for years. They didn't care, and I was a tender. So you know, helping them. You know, I bring the things to, to the main. I was making ten dollars an hour, and they laid us off all, a bunch of people, like sixty something people, all at one time. Then he started collecting unemployment, and that ran out. He got the extension, that ran out because we're looking for work everywhere. It's not like we're lazy or nothing. We love work, and uh, nothing out there. And now we resorted to this. That's why you're flying a sign, because you don't have a job. And they stop you six days a week because the fact that that's politicians for you. They're always trying to band-aid up something, but they're not, probably, they're not probably trying to fix nothing. Started working selling roses for myself. And I went before a judge downtown before, and he told me it was free enterprise. And, and, and that the, the, the law book said that they're, they're not supposed to make any laws prohibiting free enterprise. But I'm being denied my right to work and sell flowers as I do. You know, city council voted. I'm not, they, they, they put me together with all the people out there that's not paying taxes, that don't have license, that's begging and selling water and all this kind of stuff when I'm completely legitimate and I'm not doing that they, they, they put me together with all these people and are, are denying me the right to earn, to earn a living and, 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 and um, when work for my livelihood when I'm doing nothing and then I've even been arrested and for being out at the edge of dark out there with roses and the police throw me in jail and I owe 400 and something dollars and now I can only work one day a week these police see me out here trying to sell flowers when as soon as it get dark, they'll throw me in jail. I'd like to let the police know, like them right there, to try and stop us from... Yeah, they all around, they're the ones trying to stop us from doing this. This. Yeah. And there's a lot of homeless people out here. I think it's wrong. They're trying to stop people. You can't get no work out here. They stopped all the program. What are we supposed to do? But the band is, it's, it's horrible. and. You know, not everybody was aggressive or, you know, anything like that. We're just trying to survive, but I do understand it, but it's not good. It's not good on, you know, the people out here, hand, you know, hand to mouth every day. It's very degrading and hurtful because we used to be middle class and now we're nothing. I wanted to get a petition about the panhandling, you know, I wanted to put a stop from people trying to stop us from panhandling out here. The police, the governor, the Washington DC, you know, and let them know we have a right to, you know, street. We're not doing nothing wrong. We're just trying to make our own living and trying to make money for ourselves to get our own food. We can't get, the churches don't help. The police don't understand that. My day's about done. I haven't made anything, so we're gonna have to sleep outside. We've got covers and pillows. You know, I used to camp when I was a little girl. I love Barry Man. I look forward to it every summer. Now, uh, it's just a way of life. They're out here because they can't get a job. Most of them are physically disabled. They've applied for SSI and keep getting turned down. It's a, it's a, 
The social security system is not right. I mean, it, it overdoes some people and does not take care of people that need it. I mean, most of them don't have high school educations. You know, uh, they're good people. They don't rob people. You know, I, and I know these people. I see them. I maybe know the part of town they do, but this part of town they don't. You know, they just get by. It's gonna yeah, take some, um, what's the word, social work. Some of these um, shelters are gonna have to open up. Maybe they can give you one week, give us two weeks, you know, to clean up, you know, maybe two weeks. But it's so hard because every, I mean, I went through shelter after shelter here. And you get three days, you got four days, and then you $10 a night. Well, how are we gonna make the $10 a night? $10 a night, that's kind of expensive. But that's the cheapest you're gonna get. That's the Salvation Army. I, seriously, seriously. $10 a night is the cheapest you're gonna get. And that's probably without food. I'm, I'm trying, yeah. That's all I can do is try every day.